Welcome to Japan. Here we are again. It's me, your old friend, maybe your new friend, Martin. And uh, this is the local service station, mechanic in my town. And uh, I always drive past the sign, so I just thought I'd take a second to look around. This Suzuki sign is something that I see all the time in Japan. And that is katakana, which is the phonetic language for borrow words. Don't know what in the world that says. But this sign I drive by all the time. And it's just one of those things where, I mean, I know I should practice my Japanese, but you know, it's just you and me here, right? Like, I'm nearly halfway through my life. On this planet, I'm never gonna know what that means. I'm just not investing in it. <laughs> I'm just not investing in it. Whatever this says, I will go on my deathbed. I will not be able to tell you what this means. I mean, and this next to it, and this guy living here beneath it, and these guys, sure, these guys I can read a little bit, no problem. But you throw them all together in this hodgepodge. And it's just like, life is short, man. You know, life is short. I just don't have the, uh, you know, I just don't have the, I, I don't have the interest. I mean, I'm just keeping it at a hundred, you know? I just, I'm not doing it. But what I do have is an interest in just how like beautiful and exotic these things are. But it's just never happening. Look at how happy the family is. So this is the local garage. They're always here, so I never have a chance to um, come and take a look around, and poke around with you. Oh, hang on, before we go down there, look, ugh, I discovered that down here there's a yard full of, uh, I don't know, maybe they're retired postal vans, and maybe K trucks. That's a Japanese post van. There's the happy family. Free radicals. I'm just not doing it. It's a real gray day. Before I turn around this way, look at these bamboo trees. Ah, Christ. All right, you saw a traffic sign. Please don't come here. <laughs> um, just look around the garage. I mean, Japanese is such a wild language. I mean, seriously, that is serious action. I mean, I'm not trying to hate on anyone but my own ignorance. And this isn't the part I really want to show you. Is that that one sign? And this sign's kind of cool, but the charmer, well, also, people ask about K-Trucks for sale. Here's a bunch of K-Trucks for sale. Just send me $100,000 and I'll deliver one to you. Um, but this sign, how great is it? Hold on. That's the mechanic sign. It's living, uh, it's living in another planet. It's gonna be a festival tonight. And I just wanted to show you this sign. I mean, I really wanted to show myself this sign. These little videos that I put on YouTube, they're not going anywhere. They're gonna live on way beyond me. One day I'll look at them. Like you. Japan is trapped in the past and is, uh, I always said that Japan, is, hey man, what's up? Konnichiwa. <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to say that Japan is one foot in the past and one foot in the future. That's still pretty much the way I feel. It's just, uh, 
I see a lot more of the past these days because I don't I haven't been leaving and going into uh, any of the metropolitan hubs. Until next time, I'll be here in Japan. <laughs> that's a bit of a downer one, huh? Well, that's the way life is, man, you know? We'll keep it real. Until next time, I'll be here in Japan. You take care of yourself. Bye, friend.